Heading to the zoo. We've got these wild deer here. Now they saw me get my camera out and they started to run. I thought he thought it's a gun or something. I'm not gonna hurt you guys. So yeah, there you go. Wild deer. It's always nice to see. Alright, main area. So get your tickets here. This is their pricing. So $16. They also have memberships available. Hey everybody, Tommy over Tom's road trip and I'm down in Schnecksville, Pennsylvania in the Lehigh Valley and today I'm visiting the Lehigh Valley Zoo. Really, really uh, cool property. I saw some deer right at the entry gate. You go through a, a preserve area, so it's not surprising that there's deer there, but it's always nice to see wild animals even when I'm going to a zoo. I get excited to see a wild animal out in the wild because I don't always get to see that in my home state of Florida unless it's an alligator. That's pretty much the only thing I'm going to see and, and, and squirrels. The, the, you know, the, the same stuff that most everybody is going to see in their, in their backyard. So uh, the zoo opens in about 15 minutes. I'm going to find a map. I showed you the pricing. Not too bad, $16. Uh, this is a nice zoo. I'm looking forward to being here. Uh, once the zoo is open, we'll get started. All right, so showing you the map. I'm right here. Missions. So I'm gonna work my way around, going in a loop, because it takes me to all the different animals. I'm gonna head to the left, start with the African penguins, and just work my way around. Yeah, so we got the penguin pavilion. All right, first up, we got African penguins. So yeah, these are warm weather penguins. This is very nice looking habitat. Yeah, there we go. Got one of the workers in there. This is right in the front. Always enjoy the penguins. Penguin on a path to extinction. All right, just across from the penguins, you got restroom locations. There are signs pointing to the different directions of the animal habitats. All right, can I go and see the Rad Center Reptile and Amphibian Discovery Center? Oh, it's got a tiger salamander. <laughs> nice habitat. See a salamander right here. I see a lot of the glasses all smudged because there's a lot of kids here today. We've got axolotl. Got poison dart frogs. There we go. See one of them. So it's hard to see the bottom. Like I said, uh, a lot of kids here, so a lot of smudges on glass. There's also some condensation inside. There's multiple different types in here. I see another one of the poison dart frogs. Have we got a chuckwalla? Desert iguana. And he launched her. She's got a, a two tiered habitat. Here we go. See two of them. Chuckwalla and desert iguanas in the top part, and the Gila monsters in the bottom. And I can see the Gila monsters in the back here. 
that spotted turtle. Nice habitat. Oh, yeah. These guys are really easy to see. Let's look for the spots. A couple of them here in the top. The Eastern Hellbender. This pretty long okay. tank here. A red eyed crocodile skin. All right, ready to go? Mm -hmm. so this right here is one of them. Pretty cool looking bird. Got a lesser siren. Wow, these guys are so cool looking. It's like part eel. <laughs> well, it's got like a. The front of it looks sort of like an axolotl. Yeah. Really cool looking critter. Got green tree monitor. And white tree frog. It's a cool looking habitat. Oh, there we go. Alright, so I am looking and I do not see the tree frog. However, there is lots of space in there. Interesting to be. Got an Amazon tree boa. And a Mata Mata turtle. Alright, so I am not seeing the Amazon tree boa. But I do see the Matabata turtle right here on the bottom. He's like, he's like, he's right there. Got a dusky pygmy rattlesnake. That's a fantastic looking habitat for this snake. Here we are. Yeah, that is nice. Timber rattlesnake. There we go. Oh, yeah. That is a pretty looking snake. Eastern rat snake. It's a pretty good sized snake. Look at that. Oh, we got some water. Got the exercise yard. So different animals come out to the exercise yard. Nothing in here at the moment. It's one of the wildlife encounters North American River Otter. Got North American River Otter. There's one of them swimming now, right there. <laughs> wow. Well, this is a very nice habitat. So yeah, there is a, like stadium seating here. Get that, oh my gosh. All oh, the otters are so cute. Always enjoy the otters. Hi baby. Got a second otter underneath the rocks here. Having a little crevice. Trying to sleep. Of course, that's gonna change because all these kids are coming over. So as to be expected, there are uh, school groups here. So it can get loud in some areas. 
But the kids are here to learn. Right, right across from the river artery, you got striped skunk. Skunk habitat. Oh. Alright, so one of the other people that was this here said the skunk is in there. Oh my gosh, this is so I'll check back. Got ringtail. What are these? Oh, they're cute. They're cute. Are they fine? These are ringtail, not to be confused with the ringtail lemur. Totally different animal. That's yeah, really cute looking. This is my first time actually seeing one of these. There's been other zoos that have had ringtails, but the ringtails were always somewhere where I couldn't see them. This is my first time actually seeing a ringtail. Really, really cute little animal. All right, so this is a secondary habitat for the ringtail. And I see the one sleeping up in the box. Up above, it just kind of stuck its head up. All uh, right, we got Laura Keat landing. So we go under this, this bridge here. So we're going to see Laura Keats and Tawny Frogmouth. There's one of the Laura Keats. They kept flying around. Just try to get a view of them. I got another one just walking around. So they're not letting people go inside here at the moment because the door is locked. Now I was looking for the tawny frog mouth, but I don't currently see one. So I'm gonna get some other birds inside. Oh, got the barnyard. Just across from the barnyard, you got the men's and women's restrooms. Nice looking barn. All right, so they got Toggenberg goat. La Mancha goat. Alpine goat. Don't normally see goats like this. Got this big giant goat right here. What are they? You see, it doesn't have ears. Well, it's got ears, but it doesn't have ear flaps. Are they goats? Hmm? Yep. Do you work here? No. Yes, these are all larger, larger sized goats. Usually, I'm seeing like dwarf pygmy goats. You can purchase food here for the goats. Yeah, it only takes tokens. Yeah, so these goats are all lined up to see people. They're expecting some handouts. But most likely everybody doesn't have tokens. So you're gonna have to wait a little bit. Got white cockatoo. Like the, the film kids, I'm sorry guys. Got one of the workers in there doing a little bit of maintenance. And then the cockatoo should be out. It's not out at the moment. So I will come back by. Right near the barn you got Preston's Place. Yes, yeah, a Preston's Place native habitat. So all these different types of plants will flower usually in springtime and attract all the butterflies. And some other insects and yeah, very beneficial to the area. Information about composting. 
There's a small playground here with some equipment for the kids to be on, some swings. They go into this barn here, see some more animals. A lot of the critters that are in this area, Vietnamese pot-bellied pig. Also got alpaca. Got Dorset sheep. And domestic chickens. Look at all the signage is uh, dual got English and uh, Spanish. Hi, sheepy sheep. Hi, sheepy sheep. Okay. The other sheep right inside the barn. See one of the pigs back here. And piggies in the back. One of the llamas. Another one of the sheep. And the sheep just trying to have a nap. I hear some power tools going on back there, so they're doing some other maintenance work, sounds like. So that could possibly be preventing some of the other animals to be out here. So this building is also a little gift shop. Over there, um, so you can get tokens to feed the goats. Oh, yeah. so you can purchase tokens here. And you can feed the, you can feed the goats. Like this gazebo, got some seating in there. It swings in the back. A couple other playground equipment pieces. Used to absolutely love going on the swings when I was little. All right, so we're gonna head in over here. There's a pathway just in the back. Got the Cockatoo Cafe. This is their menu. So you can see some little fingers were on here. Not quite ready to eat yet, but I will come back for some food. This is nice, got the nice fountain here. Really beautiful waterways. So I'm not currently seeing any animals around the pond. Possibly they are removed for safety reasons because of the avian flu. Different states got different rules regarding the avian flu outbreak. If the state has any issues with the wild bird population having avian flu, then all of the birds they have at their zoo will be away in the back somewhere for their safety. All right, we got emu. There we go. Like the emus. Got the petties and hand feed them before. Their feathers are very, very bristly, not soft. All right, got another one in the back. Here's the other one laying down. So yeah, emus will make a, a kind of a, a thumping sound to do that with their throats. These guys are related to ostriches. Across them you got Tamar Wallaby. Definitely do not like the placement of her sign because it kind of blocks some of it. 
Yeah, so wallaby habitat. Not seeing any wallaby out at the moment, so they're going to be in back in their little barn area. So I'll check back a little bit later. Across them, you got red kangaroo. Alright, so just like the wallaby, I'm not currently seeing the kangaroo. So again, they're probably going to be in this barn right here. So I'll check back a little bit later. Alright, we've got Grant's zebra. Alright, got some zebra. Ah, oh, geez, there's the zebra bud again. He was a baby. He's a cool customer now. Yeah. I swear to you, I do not set this up. I don't wait for a zebra to turn around. It just seems to always happen. He's got one of them on a side view. And with the zebras, you got ostrich. Got female ostrich. You can tell by the brown plumage. Most female bird species are just a basic brownish color. Whereas the male ostrich has the black and white feathers. And they're a little bit larger than the females. Yeah, so the zebras and the ostriches have a really good sized habitat. Lots of space for them. Directly across from the zebra and ostrich, you got Habitat Madagascar. Alright, so we're gonna see some red rough lemur. Leopard tortoise. And mongoose lemur. This is the two leopard tortoises. Let me see one of the mongoose lemur. So you're having a nap. So this is an outdoor habitat. Information here about the different parts of the lemurs. So that, and how they all that work together. We have a male and female red buff lemur. Yeah, the habitat's fantastic. Yeah. yeah, so this whole building that I'm in just had the grand opening ribbon cutting last Thursday. So it is literally brand new. For the animals that are endangered, if you look at the next enclosure over, which are scimitar corn works, they were an after Supposed to open a year and a half ago, but because of COVID, it got pushed back. We have been, we, they are on our species survival plan, right. along with their Mexican great wolves. Very nice. So the female red ruff lemur came from the Bronx Zoo, and the male came from the Henry Durley Zoo in Omaha, Nebraska. So these two animals have only been together for about a month. So yeah, so the two mongoose lemur are currently in the outside habitat. And the animal switch. But really the tortoises are out here. They can get along with both of the types of lemurs. Alright, so I did speak with one of the workers. The kangaroo habitat is being refurbished. Uh, they were moved because of the construction of the habitat Madagascar. So yeah, so the red kangaroo habitat got some work done. Worked on decking. So the red kangaroo were moved over and they're sharing the habitat with the with the wallabies. Now both these animals have access to go behind this newer fence. And then one lady was telling me that's where they like to hang out. Because there's another secondary yard back there. So, like I said, I'll check back here later. Hopefully I'll see uh, either the two or both of them. 
There we go, Skimitar Horned Oryx. Go, happy birthday, Donner. Right. These are lovely looking animals. A little bit of bonus information about the Oryx. There's the mill. A little better view. Ostrich are the largest flightless birds. I mean, that's one big jump stick right there. Next up, we got Common Eland. These guys actually shared the same habitat with the Oryx. So I guess they naturally just kind of keep themselves maybe. We got the draft feeding deck. That has a big heart. Hey fellas, how you guys doing? So yes, these are both male. Very nice. See, my side giraffe, as they get older, they get a little bit darker. Got the St. Luke's Giraffe Barn. Full grown adult male giraffe can be 17 feet tall. Wow. Yeah, the giraffe habitat is really good size for these two. Right across from the giraffe, you got Cordophon. Yeah, this guy's getting a good scratch. Oh, good scratch. Good scratch right there. Get a good scratch? Hope so. You know, I'm actually not sure if this is the first time seeing this animal or not. Because I honestly don't remember seeing a cordophon before. So it's hard to remember what animals such as this when they're not at a lot of zoos. Really cool though. Got a Canada Lennox. So here's the Lennox habitat. Oh, kitty cat is inside of its little little cave. You can see him back there. So I will check back a little bit later. Get more information. Got Bobcat. 
Bobcat habitat. And there's the bobcat right here. Right up next to the fence. Oh wow. Hi Bob. Very nice. So bobcats are about the size of a house cat. Yeah, cute little stubby tail. But I definitely like their habitat. Got North American Wildlife Smart Fun Facts. Always enjoy fun facts. If I can learn something new. Why saving endangered species matters. Help endangered species. Mom! 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 Got a gray fox. Wow, that's a very nice habitat as well. All right, so the gray fox is inside of this little cave or log having a nap. The Lehigh Valley Zoo is AZA accredited which means that they have a higher standard to keep that accreditation going. That means that the animals have to have a certain amount of space, features of the habitats, things like that. So it's always uh, nice to come to an AZA accredited facility, even though I've been to other zoos that weren't AZA accredited and they were still really, really nice. Coming to an AZA accredited facility, I know the animals are gonna be very, very well taken care of. Got turtle family care info. A western pond turtle. There we go. That is a cute little turtle. See another one down in the water. Yep, back into the water. More information about the Western Pond Turtle. Yeah. Get Road to Recovery, American Bison. Yes, these animals were on the brink of extinction. Luckily, their numbers are coming back up. So, in this habitat, new resident coming soon. So, nothing currently in here. More smart fun facts. North American porcupine.
porcupine habitat. Oh, oh. See him up sleeping in the box. Yes, sir. Very nice. So I'll check back a little bit later on my rewalk. Maybe it'll be up walking around. Create habitats for native species. Got Fisher. This is a carnivore. Nice habitat. Oh, there we go. I see him right inside this little little rock cave. There we go. Trying to get a good view for you. Got Palomino horse. All right, horses are not out at the moment. So I will check back. I'm gonna ask one of the workers when I see someone, the horses will be out. All right, so from the gray fox, the porcupine, and the other critters over here and horses, gonna follow the path this way next. Like Got the wolf den. Representation of a wolf den. Not camping and conservation. Got Mexican gray wolf. Take this boardwalk. It's a gray wolf habitat. This is nice. All right, so I do see a gray wolf all the way in the back. All the way in the back. So I can see him all the way in. There we go. There we are. There is one of the gray wolves. Very, very nice. The Los Lobos, the Mexican gray wolves. More information on them. Smallest subspecies are the most endangered of North American gray wolves. That's so very, very important for zoos to help out with these animals. All right, we got bald eagle. Let's have Golden Eagle. Let's get Common Raven. So Common Raven you see in the back. And you got the golden eagle and the bald eagle. So all three of these birds are in the same habitat. Which means they all get along together. It's good to have friends. And the 
even. Uh, golden eagles are beautiful. Except we got snow owl. It's a really nice habitat. Oh wow. Yeah, it's a beautiful bird. What you looking at behind you? Huh? It's like what? You talking to me? Huh? Very pretty bird. We got turkey vulture. And in with the turkey vulture, you got red-tailed hawk. Turkey vultures in at the bottom. And a red tailed hawk. Another very pretty bird. We got black vulture. And in there with them, we got Barred Owl. Barred Owl. Such a nice looking owl. Second Barred Owl up top. I'm not seeing the black vulture. I'm not sure where the vulture is. Got a barn owl. Barn owl habitat. Got this big tree in there with the bird. Came on the other side of the tree. There we go. There's the barn owl. Hi, baby. How you doing? There we go. Very, very beautiful. Last up for the birds, you got a peregrine falcon. There we go. Got right up top. Trying to get you a good view. So all these birds are here because they have injuries making them unsuitable to live out in the wilderness. They won't be able to take care of themselves. More smart fun facts. Spread your wings. All right, so I saw one of the staff walking by and asked, black vulture is over here with the red-tailed hawk and the turkey vulture. So all three birds are in the same habitat. I found it! So that's pretty neat. Other vulture. Yeah! Plant a medicine wheel garden. That's what one looks like. Danger species acts success story. So he's good news. You got animals that were almost gone extinct. And they were brought back to healthy levels. 
All right, so the pathway has me go up in this area. Got the nature store. Thank you, winter receipt. Uh, so this is apparently the main gift shop for the zoo. Very good. Lots of shirts. Lots of plush. All sorts of stuff in here. Got name plates and mugs, magnets, some twisty snakes. And of course, in the back, you have all the toy stuff for the kids. Walking sticks. So yeah, there's all sorts of good stuff in here. Yeah. Alright, so do you have adult hats? Oh yeah, I'll take a lot of kid size hats. Alright, so I got a hat. This was nineteen dollars and ninety-nine cents plus tax. So a little bit below what I normally pay for a hat, which is definitely a good thing. So now I'm all set. All right, we got geekers at the zoo. All right, we've got quick snacks. Hey, do you want an ice cream sandwich? And then drinks. And half pound tacos. I don't know where the garbage is. Anything else? See, that's all the good stuff right here. Jack, you want that? All right, so for lunch, I got a gator taco and some mozzarella sticks. Haven't had gator in a while. All right, so from Gecker's, got seating. And this brings me right back to the front of the zoo at the main entrance. So I'm showing you the map again. I went all the way this way and went around everything. So there's only a couple animals that I didn't get to see the first time. So I'm going to do a rewalk and hopefully see the other critters that I didn't see. Alright, so I'm back at the entry point. I'm going to do a rewalk, show you some of the animals that I missed the first time, like the horses. Hopefully they're out. I didn't get to see the wallabies or the kangaroo. For the most part, everything else was visible. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some better views of some of the animals that I didn't get quite a good view the first time. So let's get started again on the rewalk. All right, since this is a very light attendance day, it doesn't appear this is being used. All right, so I came back to the river otter habitat. Not seeing either one right now. All right, so one of them is still sleeping right underneath here. And after both of them there, could be, yeah, it kind of looks like two of them. Yeah, so in this area, you see the back portion of the Madagascar building. So you can see this whole area was cleared for it, so they're going to be doing some other stuff right here, most likely. So yeah, you can see several of the lorikeets over here. All right, so I've been looking around high and low. All right, so unfortunately, the tawny frog mouth is a no-go because I just don't see it. So this is when the lorikeet landing is actually open. We can go back there. Came back to the barnyard area, so you can see all the sheep on the ground and near the fence. Alpacas. Like everybody got their haircuts. So the sheep's just kind of staring at me. Hi, sheepies. Back at the goaty goats. I'm sorry, you ate it. You got a sorry. kids feeding the goats. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 uh. Ready, 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 ready. 
Right, so right near the goats, I was looking for the white cockatoo if it's going to be out. This is where the lady was working on the window earlier. Unfortunately, I still don't see the white cockatoo. So white cockatoo is a no-go, unfortunately. All right, so I inquired about the lack of waterfowl over here. The swan that is normally in this habitat is at a vet appointment. So that's the reason why there's no swan. I said normally there's two ducks in here, but they are not part of the zoo. They just come in and hang out here. So yeah, I see a picture of the swan and the ducks. Or duck. I so came back over here, get a closer look. And there's one of the duck is here. There we go. There's one of the ducks. There's apparently two of these ducks in here. And that was incorrect. The ducks do live here. Double checked again. I see two emus now. I don't believe I saw two of them this morning. Oh, there we go. All right, so back at the wallaby slash kangaroo habitat. Still not seeing them. Like I said earlier, they like to hang out in the secondary habitat behind the fence. So tomorrow wallaby and red kangaroo are a no-go, unfortunately. I really enjoy seeing the kangaroo and the wallabies. One last look at the zebras. That's the ostrich. Looks like the ostrich is sitting on a nest. So the Skimitar Horned Arax are right with the Elands now. They were kind of separated earlier when I came by. Hi! Yes, yeah, so there's multiple different species of Orax. But the Skimitar Horned Arax, they have these big giant horns on them. And Elan, this is the male Elan in the back. Well, he's about to have his second birthday coming up. Came back to the Canada Linux. Still in a little box. Yeah, see right there. Yeah, Bobcat's still in the same spot. And when you're comfortable, you're comfortable. Hi, Bob. All right, came back to the Fisher. There you go. There we go. Trying to get a better view. Kind of behind the tree now. Came back to the Palomino horse habitat. Horses have access to be in the back. So it's totally their choice whether or not they want to be in the habitat or not. So that's a bummer. Yeah, so Palomino horse is a no-go, unfortunately. So I came back to the Mexican gray wolf habitat. There we go. There's the one. Can't look like a head. And the other one right behind him, just moved her head. I only saw the one this first time I came through. Now I see two of them. They're all the way in the back. Oh yeah, I just love this habitat. Golden Eagle and Bald Eagle right next to each other now. So the way the sun was shining earlier made it kind of hard to see some of these. Like I said both vultures in the same habitat. Yeah, so the red-tailed hawk evidently gets along good with the vultures. So right by 
at a nature store in Geckers. You got this huge boardwalk here. Lots of seating to enjoy your food. Got some toys for the kids to play with. Now let's get a nice view of the lake. You get fish food here. This also only takes tokens. This habitat's also where the lemurs used to be. Yeah. So the lemurs have moved to the new habitat. So I'm curious if they're gonna add something else here. All right, everybody, that is gonna wrap up my visit to the Lehigh Valley Zoo. Had a wonderful time. Uh, unfortunately, didn't get to see a couple of the animals because they were not out on habitat. The horses, the wallaby, and the red kangaroo. Uh, everything else I got to see, even if it was partial. The skunk, when I went back, it was still in its little crevice, so there was nothing really to see. I did go back. So leave some comments down below what your favorite zoo animal was that I saw today. It was pretty neat to see a couple animals that I very rarely see and the one type of goat, I'm pretty sure, was the first time seeing it. Got to see some snakes. It was nice seeing zebras, giraffe. So this is really nice zoo. Like I said, it's easy accredited. So uh, again, leave some comments down below. Any other questions? If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, I go to places like this, aquariums, theme parks, amusement parks, Quirky roadside attractions, even occasionally state parks and national parks all around the United States. Upload new videos every Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everybody else, thank you guys so much for your support. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. I hope you enjoyed your visit. I certainly did.